Hello there, welcome to my French Pharmacy Favourites, a video I've been wanting to film since the very start of my channel. I've often talked about my love of French pharmacies and great beauty shopping in Paris, so now there's a place you can go to find out all of my favourite spots over on my brand new website. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Setting up a website was a big 2020 goal for me, so it was perfect timing when they emailed me earlier in the year. I'll talk you through their tools and more about MatildaOnVideo.com later on. When you hear beauty lovers talk about French pharmacy products, French pharmacy isn't a brand name as some of you've asked before, it refers to all of the different brands sold in pharmacies in France. Companies like Cordely, Bioderma, Aven, La Roche-Posay, Vichy, Chlorane, Nuke, Suriage, we could be here all day. Luckily all of the products you'll see here are available outside France from a range of online retailers and stores in other countries but the prices are much better in France. For example this standard 250ml Bioderma bottle in Australia costs the same as these two 500ml bottles in Paris. Paris, hence why I like to stock up. You'll find most of these items in just about any pharmacy in France and elsewhere in Europe, but my favourite spot is City Pharma in Paris, a maze of busy aisles with the best selection and lowest prices. You can take a look around the store in my beauty tour episode. I first got lost in the world of French skincare seven years ago when I was studying overseas, and it's a category of the beauty industry that has a huge following among beauty editors and models and makeup artists. There are countless blog posts and articles online on what to buy, but everyone's skin and and preferences and budget is different so I can't make recommendations. This is just my personal roundup of classics I like to stock up on and bring back in a seriously heavy suitcase. Starting at the top of a skincare routine with cleansers. First, arguably the most famous French pharmacy product full stop, Bioderma micellar water. There are several formulas but the original has the pink lid. In France the packaging says Créoline but it's often called Sensibio elsewhere. This is just a great gentle cleanser. Makeup artists and models swear by it to remove makeup. I personally like using it as step one of a double cleanse to just get that first layer of face makeup and grime and pollution off. It's great to quickly remove makeup before running into a gym class and always makes my face feel nice and soft not stripped. The main cleanser I use religiously is Aven Clenance. This has been in many videos on my channel. Cleansers were really my gateway into the world of French pharmacy products. The brands methodically organise their cleansers by skin type and particular concerns. Although my skin is normal to dry and this is designed for acne prone skin, I love using this gentle foaming gel to really make my face feel clean, not dry, and it seems to help fight off hormonal breakouts too. They've just got style, don't they? Modèle économique sounds so much nicer than value size. <laughs> my eye makeup remover hasn't changed for over a decade. I'm obsessed with the Biface formula by Chanel, but La Roche-Posay's Respectissime bottle comes pretty close for less than half the price. It's the same type of biphase solution that you shake up before use and it melts away eye makeup easily and gently. No rough rubbing required. Something you'll spot in just about every aisle of a French pharmacy is face mist. Thermal water sprays are a signature part of skincare culture there. So many brands make them. La Roche-Posay, Uriage, Cordely, but one of the most famous options is Aven Eau Thermale. They're really all designed to hydrate and soothe skin. It's a great step to prep your skin before skincare or before makeup or to refresh your face during the day. My favourite time to spritz face mist is before moisturiser to lock in the moisture of the mist but it's also nice to give yourself a quick spray during the day. It's not as popular as other thermal spring water sprays but I love Caudalie grape water. There's just something slightly different about it. It's fragrance free but the scent is ever so slightly grape like so it's very refreshing and the spray mechanism is perfect. It'll give you super fine mist or really make your face feel damp if you hold it down. But the queen of all French face mists is certainly Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This cult product appears on the top shelves of supermodels and skincare experts and editors and it does cost more than the others but it has rosemary and mint and rose and smells like a relaxing trip to a spa. Such a treat to use and if they didn't come in this glass bottle I'd be holding my basket up and just scooping an armful of these off the shelf. I'm addicted. <laughs> Moving on to moisturiser and something many people seek out is the Embryolis Les Crèmes Concentré. I've seen this classic nourishing face moisturiser compared to Glossier Priming Moisturiser before, my favourite morning moisturiser, but this is really the original and it's a bit thicker. It's ultimately the same concept though, a moisturiser that makes your face look hydrated and glowy and preps the skin nicely for makeup, but I do find Embryolis stays slightly tacky on the skin a bit longer. Still a classic easy moisturiser. Another formula I like to buy backups of is Caudalie's Venosource Moisturising Sorbet. I first found this when I 
I visited the home of Quarterly in Bordeaux a couple of years ago, and it's been in my routine ever since. It really does feel like a sorbet, nice and light and cooling and almost fluffy, so it sinks into the skin beautifully. Before we get on to two of my favorite French pharmacy categories, I wanted to properly introduce you to my new website, matildaonvideo.com. I'd heard a lot about Squarespace before and had seen many creators work with them in the past, so they were truly front of mind when I thought about building my own website this year, so I couldn't believe it when they contacted me to work together. I loved the wide range of templates, whether you're wanting to create a blog as a hobby, a website for your business, or an online store. I've used several website platforms in the past, but this has been the most user-friendly experience by far. It's been so simple to tweak the template, customize the layout, insert my videos seamlessly, no coding required. I wanted a website to be a sort of hub for all things Matilda on video and a place to cover frequently asked questions like one of the most popular, where should I shop for beauty in Paris? I've sent so many DMs and emails with my list in the past, but now it's all there if you're planning a visit in future. If you're wanting to take the plunge and set up your own blog or website, Squarespace offer a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com slash Matilda for 10% off your first website or domain name purchase. Very excited to be working with them and I'll be building up the website as I go along. Leaping back into those pharmacy aisles and we're in the lip balm section. So many tiny tubes to choose from. My top pick is Caudalie's Lip Conditioner Stick. I like using stick balms on the go, but usually find pot formulas more nourishing, but this is definitely one of the most moisturizing sticks I've ever tried. And so many of you love it too, judging by the comments on my recent lip balm video. Another one that popped up in the comments there is the Bioderma Atoderm Moisturizing Stick. This is a pretty new one. I've got another one rolling around in the bottom of a bag somewhere. This feels slightly less creamy than Caudalie, but still very comfortable and I love the berry taste. Now I had to mention this final balm. It's on just about every French pharmacy shopping list. The Nuke Rev de Miel lip balm has an avid following, but unfortunately it actually doesn't work that well for me. It's very thick and almost a bit waxy, so it seems to form more of a barrier rather than really nourishing my lips. But I do find their Rev de Miel moisturizing stick more effective for some reason. Always pretty personal with lip balm. Let me know if any of these work for you. On to my absolute favorite section of any French pharmacy, sunscreen. I walk towards the wall of yellow and orange bottles like I'm heading for the pearly gates. There are so many excellent sunscreens on the market market in France in different formats and formulas and for different skin types. It's the most important thing you can put on your skin to skip signs of aging and avoid skin cancer, so please make sure you browse this section if you're planning a visit. One of the most popular options on the market is La Roche-Posay's Anthelios Ultra Light Fluid, suitably named because it is indeed an ultra light fluid. It's lightweight, not greasy, and sinks into the skin nicely. I love this skinny, tiny bottle too, something I always keep in my handbag while traveling to reapply on my face and body. Cream sunscreens are usually more effective because we tend to apply more and be more thorough rubbing them in, but I do love this Vichy Ideal Soleil Hydrating Mist too. I also keep the smaller spray in my travel bag to reapply on my face or body if I'm out all day and don't want to end up with sunscreen all over my hands. So although cream sunscreen is always my first preference, a mist that feels light and moisturizing and smells good like this one is a pretty nice plan B. If you happen to have a mishap and miss a spot with your sun protection, there are some excellent skin soothers and repairers available too. La Roche-Posay's Post Helios Gel Fondant is something I like to have on hand to soothe and cool your skin if it's a bit pink after a day out. It's a smooth, whipped gel texture that soaks straight in. This last product technically belongs in the final category of the video with multitasking balms, but Biofine is my favorite sunburn soother, so I had to include it here. I'd heard it had holy grail status in terms of healing burns and had even been used in hospitals, so the first time I used it on sunburn, I expected it to be really thick and I just slathered it on and thought it would stay on the surface of my skin for hours, but it was gone in minutes. It's nice and light, so it disappears into any burns and repairs skin so it doesn't peel. Two quick hair and body favorites I like to keep in my bathroom cupboard. Chlorine Dry Shampoo is one of the most popular brands on the market and it's from France. Definitely my favorite dry shampoo formula. It doesn't have much of a smell, it certainly extends the time between washes, adds a bit of volume and makes styling easier, and it doesn't make my dark hair look white if I spray a lot on. I recently shared some of my favorite eucalyptus products in a scent video and Knipe's eucalyptus bath salts made the cut. They're actually a German brand, but I found them in a French pharmacy and it was love at first bath. Such a strong eucalyptus scent. It clears your nose as soon as you open it. Always on my list to repurchase. There are plenty of hand cream options available. I'd love to hear what you've picked up in French pharmacies before, but something I always throw in my basket is Caudalie's hand and nail cream. A simple moisturizing hand cream with a slightly fruity scent and a very nourishing feel but it's nice and lightweight, never greasy. This next one might be an unusual 
visual product pick that I also really enjoy called Lee's Foot Beauty Cream. If I've been walking for miles or my feet feel dry and cracked, this balm is a huge help. It doesn't feel sticky on your bed sheets like other foot balms. Hate that feeling. It's just super smooth and absorbent. Finishing with some popular soothing balms and general skin salves that you can use in several different ways. La Roche-Posay's Sica Plast Balm B5 is a repairing balm with a light creamy texture. It's very gentle and soothing and useful on dry skin, but my favourite way to apply it is to heal any skin on my face that's dried out from a spot treatment. The spot itself is gone, but there might be some dry or sore skin left behind. I just dab this on any redness overnight and it's always much calmer in the morning. Last but not least, Omeo Plasmine is a popular multi-purpose transparent ointment. To me, it's the French equivalent of Australia's pawpaw ointment. Helpful on irritated skin or chafing and on lips, it acts like a barrier to block out wind and cold or lock in moisture. Not really nourishing alone, so I like to apply a more moisturizing lip balm first, then seal it in with this. I hope this helped paint a picture of some popular products and what I like to pick up from French pharmacies. Please let me know what you've tried and enjoyed from these brands in the past. Is there anything you try to stock up on Two, what would make it onto your dream shopping list? I'd love to hear whether you've also visited any of my other favourite places to shop for beauty in Paris over on my website. There's a comment section there too, so please share your top spots. Thanks for watching. See you next time.